In this tutorial, we will see the contact operation in IDEA Statica. Here we have a beam column operation created by a cleat operation. The beam is supported by a cleat but there is no connection between them. Briefly, that is an unstable model. Moreover, if we define an axial force to the beam the software will generate an error in calculation, because there is almost no friction between the plate and the beam. To see the software's response, let's apply a shear force on the beam, for example minus 50 kN. As a result, we have a cleat on the column and a beam located on it. If we do not want the software to generate an error, we need to create a contact between the beam and the plate. If we calculate it without a contact, we will get a singularity error. And if we check the system, we will see the beam and column diverge. In order to prevent these kind of errors, I go back to the model and add a bolt grid or contact operation. Then select contact, here in fastener line. I will select the bottom flange of the beam, and cleat as members here. Looking at the contact, the beam bottom flange and the plate are brown. And if I switch to the transparent view, the overlapping part of the beam and the plate became red. Now if I calculate the model, I will not get a singularity warning. As you see, we changed the model type to be axial and shear force. If we had added the moment, we could get a singularity error again because, if it gets any moment, the contact will not work due to the deformation. We can check all the results via FE analysis section. For example, we can see the equivalent stresses, plastic strain and deformation of the model, in detail. Additionally, a new function of contact operation has been released. Let me inform you about this new functionality before the application. Assume that we have a base plate connection like in this example. Naturally, the load must be transferred from the column to the foundation. Mostly, the load transfer is assumed to flow through the welds only, for example in Eurocode. But in reality, there is a load transfer via contact, even if it is slight. Compressive resistance may be evaluated by taking this contact into account in some regions. So how? By adding additional resistance to the base weld, the weld is able to achieve a more isonomical design. As an example, let's take a look at this. Here we have a column and a base plate connection. We have some load effects, and the welds of the web and flanges are as seen. So let's calculate this. As you see, welds are insufficient. And then, let's add a contact by clicking on operation in weld or contact, here. Then I select contact from type, member, here, and column for the first plate. And plate, here, and base plate 1, for the second plate. Now I can recalculate the new model. As you see from the results, now we have satisfying welds. 